Hi there. Welcome to Postgres for MySQL DBAs. This is a series recently updated to help those who have a MySQL background learn Postgres. Episode one is going to cover some of the reasons for learning Postgres, especially if you have a MySQL background. My name is Dave Stokes. I'm a technology evangelist at Percona. I'm the author of MySQL JSON, a practical programming guide. I've spent over a decade on the MySQL community team. I've been using MySQL since it came out. Now, if you need to get a hold of me, there's my contact information and where you can find copies of these slides. So, Postgres for MySQL DBAs. Why the series was created. A long time ago, when I was a certification manager for MySQL AB, then Sun Microsystems, and then Oracle, for a brief while before I went to the community team, I'd have hiring managers come to me saying it was hard to find qualified MySQL DBAs and impossible to find qualified Postgres DBAs. So part of the series is to help uh, alleviate that situation. But if you're a MySQL DBA and you're curious about how other databases work, Postgres is a good place to start. Uh, it is the polar opposite of MySQL in many ways, and it has a lot of very interesting features that are different from MySQL where it's going to really make you stretch to adapt. I'm even just curious about Postgres. You've heard that it has two JSON data types, materialized views, uh, better implementation of the SQL standards, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Well, if you're curious, uh, this is, series is going to help you uh, slake that curiosity. Or maybe you know about Postgres and you have a MySQL DBA you want to cross-train to help you out running your Postgres systems. Uh, if you're tangentially in any of the areas of, that I've mentioned above, uh, or you're just curious, this series is for you. Now, the goal of this series is to help you get a working Postgres instance running on a machine with a test database, very similar to a database you're used to in the MySQL world called Sakila, and get it running. And also going to guide you over some of the areas that are a little bit bumpy uh, when you're coming from the MySQL perspective. Now, the examples on this machine on this uh, presentation, we're done on an Ubuntu machine using Percona software for Postgres, which you can get at that address, percona.com, Postgres slash software. Now, everything here should work in fairly recent versions of Postgres and probably much older versions. And the idea is to let you have a machine to work with and then give you some hints on how to work with that machine to further your knowledge. And that is the end of episode one. Uh, if you come back for episode two, you'll see that Postgres is different from MySQL and not in a bad way. And by the way, different isn't better or worse. It's just different. Thank you.